Hand screw clamps have been used for hundreds of years, yet it wasn't until this year that I fully appreciated how versatile of a tool they were. Here are nine ways that you can put them to use. Hand screw clamps can just as easily be used as a big adjustable wrench. For example, I needed a way to lock my grinding wheel in order to remove the nut and change the disc. I bought this used and didn't have the right size, so I used a large hand screw clamp to hold onto the wheel and a smaller one to tighten onto the nut. I've never bothered buying a large wrench since this trick worked so well. Have you ever had something too long or maybe awkward to clamp up with bar clamps? If your project has a bottom or back that won't be shown, then try this. Drill one quarter inch hole in each piece at the connection point. Now drill a quarter inch hole in the end of the hand screw clamps. Cut the head off two one and a half inch quarter inch bolts and thread this into the holes of the hand screw clamps. Tip, if you use two nuts at the top of the threads, you can use a wrench to quickly and easily thread these in. Now we've created a pinching device so that you can place the protruding ends of the threads into the parts holes and as you tighten down on the hand screw clamp, it will bring the joint together and apply pressure as the glue cures. If you have something you can't put holes into, then try this. Attach a hand screw clamp to each workpiece you're trying to join together. Tighten down on them pretty good so that once you have your boards aligned, you can use another clamp to squeeze them together. Again, applying pressure to the joint while the glue sets up. You can flip the board around to repeat on the other end as well. With these clamps always being made out of wood, you can quickly extend them to meet any far-reaching clamping needs. Simply grab some scraps and use screws to attach them to the jaws. Now you can reach the inside of a project where the normal jaws or other traditional clamps don't have the throw. If you're needing to work on the edge of a board, take two hand screw clamps and clamp them to your board on their side. They have such a great footprint when laid over, they can make a quick and easy stand. Then if you're doing something really aggressive like planing the edge, then you can always clamp down the clamps. Now let's say the board you're working on is too large to be on top of a workbench. Grab a sawhorse or any other flat surface at the correct height and clamp a hand screw clamp down. Now use it to reach out and grab whatever you're needing to stand vertical so that you can get to work on its edge. Now those two are for holding onto something flat, now for holding onto something round. You can make some simple attachments for the jaws that has a V cutout. When you need to use them, pull out some double-sided tape and stick them both on. Cut the strip down the middle, then peel and stick each one to the inside of the hand screw clamp. Now you can tighten down on anything round and either use a variety of clamps to hold it sideways, let's say if you wanna cut it or paint it, or you can use the large footprint to make it stand up straight so that you can access the ends. Do you have a small part to work on? Hand screw clamps are always a great answer for getting the job done. Whether it be on the drill press where you can clamp the clamp to the deck, the bandsaw where you can easily move the part close to the blade while your fingers stay away, or even on the router table where no part is too small to add some detail to the edge. Then don't forget a major area where the unique design of the hand screw clamp really shines is holding down angles. Having the ability to move the front independently from the back means clamping onto awkward angles is a breeze. Real quick, I wanna thank this video sponsor, which is Ariat. As a woman in the trades, it is so awesome to have Ariat introducing their workwear line made for women by women. They think of the fit, function, and also the durability. Now I am rough and tough on my work clothes, but the boots, jeans, and the shirts have no problem keeping up with me. Every piece of their line is designed to work as hard as I do. I personally love that the jeans not only have full-size pockets on the front, but also additional pockets along the side. This is great for keeping multiple tools at the ready when working on any size project. Aside from the jeans, I've also been really impressed with their boots. I not only love the style and support they provide, but I don't know the last time I wore a more comfortable boot right out of the box. I'm wearing their mid-lace work boot that has a composite toe, which means they protect me on the job site, but are still lightweight. If you're interested in any area gear, there is a link for you down below for 10% off your first order. Big thank you to Ariat for supporting what I do.
These are very accessible, but I don't see them in too many people's shops. So hopefully this video has helped you out on giving you ideas and ways that you can put them to use in your own shop. If I've left out your favorite tip, then please leave it down below for myself and future viewers. I will see you on my next video, guys.